Top Row Rally, episode 45. Old school reality. Part 3, countdowns. That's okay. Indie Cats Brothers here this week. That's true. Or uh, what are they call now? They're not called Indies. Free Agent Cats. Free Agent Cats Brothers here. That's right. I was like, where are you going? I mean, They're still called Cats. I don't think they renamed Cats. <laughs> they took away Pluto from the planet. But they haven't renamed Cats. Yet. Okay, we'll call Indie Cat. We'll leave Indie Cat, Indie Cat, and we'll call. This free one, agent cat. Free agent cat, yes. There you go. And let's get started with, since we didn't do it last week, we pushed it because of the we World Rumble. We pushed it because of the World Rumble. We're going to talk about we the 50 tag back, teams. We brought it back for old school reality. Old school reality. 50 tag teams you forgot existed. Number 20 down to number 11. Number uh, 20, MVP and Mark Henry. I did forget them. They were both in red all the time. That was weird. That was weird. Number 19, Hurricane. Hurricane, get it? Hurricane Helms and Kane. Hurricane is a... Is, is a uh, Pierre, Pierre loves Hurricane. Yes, Pierre is a huge fan of Hurricane. If only we could put Hurricane one day on a green screen. Wouldn't that be wonderful? A what? A what? A green what? A green what? Okay. Because he loves green. Hurricane loves green. Uh, Number 18, Cody Rhodes and Drew McIntyre. You know they're tag team champions? I forgot they were tag I team told, champions. I forgot they were even a team. Unabomb at 17 and Al Snow. Which is Kane, by the way. So Kane and Al Snow at number 17. That's a horrible idea, by the way. Number 16, Stone Cold Steve Austin and Dude Love. Another, another terrible one. Yes, number 15. <laughs> number 15, Harlem Heat 2000, uh, Stevie Ray and Big T. I'm in Johnson, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and he was got, he got way bigger when he got into this. Now can you dig that? Suck it. Okay, I'm going scream it. Okay. Number 14, we have Regal and Tajiri. I remember those. Didn't Tajiri used to like pee in his, in his coffee? No, or his Jericho and stuff. Oh, right. Jericho did that. Number 13, catches Jack and Max Payne. I remember that. I remember that too. I didn't forget that one. Number 12, Masatata. I'm just going to say Tanaka. <laughs> Masa, Masito Tanaka, yes. Tanaka and Balls Mahoney. Balls, 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 Balls. Would you stop doing that? Thank you very much. I don't know what you're doing. Number he's rubbing. I think it's just a crash. Crash! Number 11, Tajiri and Mike. Because he's a Rip free agent. With a sinister minister. James Mitchell. I know who Sinister Minister Good job. I now, forgot they know who Sinister Minister is. They didn't know who James And James Mitchell is. The guy from TNA. Abyss is a matter here. Sinister Minister. Well, I figured when I said Sinister Minister is James Mitchell, I wouldn't have to and say And I James said James Mitchell. Mitchell is Sinister Minister. That's stupid. Nine things that ruined the Royal Rumble for 2015. Oh, there should be more. It should be 99 now so than just mine. And there goes Free Agent Cat. Did 99 scare you? I just really hope you don't knock don't it Don't do it. Don't do it, guys. Don't do it. Don't you. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Hold on, hold on. Peace out here. All right. Down. See you later, Free Agent. He hated Royal Rumble 2015. He had to go. Nine things that ruined the Royal Rumble 2015. Number nine is a lot of guys with no chance. You knew they oh, would not geez. win it. Yes. You gotta have some people get thrown out easy. Number eight, Kofi Kingston runs out of magic. Yes, for all the things that Kofi's done to when he gets eliminated to get back in, this year was kind of sucky. But I, I called it. You called I it. I told you he was gonna fall into the um, rosebuds. I told you he was gonna do it. And since you called, that shows how sucky it is. <laughs> Number seven. This was the hardest. That's you. Season. I got eight. Oh, you got eight. I was, I was Kofi. talking about Kofi, so that's why I told him it was me. His mind is going. It's just true. The boogeyman shows up. That spot could have been used for somebody else. Yeah. Number six, big guys everywhere. God, there was a lot of big guys everywhere. As long as there wasn't no great colleague, we're good. Thank goodness. I'm surprised he didn't bring him back. Number five, what was Randy Orton? He was backstage. They say he was backstage dressed and ready to go. He was pooping in somebody's bag again. Probably. They just thought of tease. I think there were three or four people back there dressed and ready to go. Did you see that they said Jericho was back there? Uh-huh. Guess what that was? That was a big, fat lie. Right in the middle of his countdown, I'm just going to let you know. I'm yeah, very connected. Paul's in at five. I'm very connected with Mr. RFVideo.com himself, mm -hmm. and Jericho was the moderator for Bruce Pritchard and Eric Bischoff's debate. On Jericho, the on the same night, Jericho was with RF Video, 
the whole night till 2 a.m. He wasn't even backstage. You can't believe those dirt sheets. You cannot believe the dirt sheets, but you can believe us. The so Randy Orton might not have been, but there was Sheamus, which I thought Sheamus couldn't go yet, so. It's weird, but anyway, next. Uh, uh, play. play. Number four, Big Show and Kane make the final four. Sad, eh? It is. Number three, the Daniel Bryan debacle. We, we let shocked. him go in there early and we throw shocked. him out early. Horrible. Number two, The Rock saves Roman Reigns, implores fans to cheer, please, please, please cheer for my cheer cousin. For Roman Reigns. This is my cousin. Cheer for him. It doesn't mean it's gonna. Why? Happen. Why are you booing? I'm The Rock. He's Roman Reigns. He's the future. But you know that's why they did it. Just because they they say, oh, everybody cheers for The Rock, so they'll automatically cheer for Roman Reigns if he's together with him. Nope, not gonna nope. happen. Number one, history repeats itself. It did. Last year. They booed Tista. This year, they didn't like Roman Reigns winning. And if they would just have let Daniel Bryan win one of these two, it'd be okay now. Right. But no, they got to ram Bautista down our throat, and they got to ram Roman Reigns down our throat. If they would just do what they need to do, hopefully sure Daniel Bryan they, wins the Royal Rumble one day. Sure as hell they've done it with John Cena. The oh, Bryan. John Cena comes back. He wins. Watch, by the time Daniel Bryan goes into a Rumble and actually wins, it'll be like, oh, I don't care no more. Yeah. Now we're going to talk That's about the 10 worst WWE Royal Rumble winners ever. Oh, okay. So you talk about winners, and there you go. Exactly. You want me to start, or do you want to start? I'll start. Okay, Number 10 start. was the tie. Lex Luger and Bret Hart in 1994. They think that's one of the worst. That is, I don't know about but that. But it made a good WrestleMania. It we did. just talked about that just WrestleMania part part two. Number 9, Big John Studd. It was a, you're fixing to die, you're fixing to get out of wrestling. Uh, we'll let you run the world. I mean, yeah, who cares? I mean, it wasn't for a title shot back then, so who cares? Number eight, John Cena, 2013. Was that the one in Madison Square Garden where he came back and he was like, Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, win. Like, oh, the one where he shouldn't have been back yet? Probably. Yeah. All the ones I that he won is like that, isn't it? I'm going to show you something on this list, too, when we get done. All right. Uh, number seven, uh, Sheamus, 2012. Sheamus. Number six, Randy Orton, 2009. Number five, Alberto Del Rio in the longest Royal Rumble in men. history, 2011. He's one of the only men to have won the Royal Rumble when it was for a title shot and not won the title. Because he won it, and then Edge beat him in the opening match at your WrestleMania you went to, and then Edge retired. This is true. Number four, Rey Mysterio in 2006. I did it for Eddie Guerrero. <laughs> because Eddie Guerrero died, and I automatically win. Because I'm Mexican. Because I'm Mexicana. And I did it for EG, man. EG, man. And I'm not saying anything about it. It's Eddie Guerrero. No, but that's fine. But that was Eddie Guerrero's push. They were talking Why? about putting him back in the title picture. That's fine. And, and we also can add Christian. Christian won it because, 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 because of Eddie. Eddie was taken off. And now nobody's going to win it because of Christian because he retired quietly and nobody cares. <laughs> Number three, Robert Reigns, 2015. Oh, that's right, right now. Okay. No. At number three. Number two, the year before that, 2014, for Blue Boo Batiste. And number one, uh, Vince McMahon, 1999, is the worst yeah. Royal what, there was Rumble no point to it. winner. There was no point to it. There was no point to it. But, <coughs> as I was saying a while ago. Yes. Without choking to death. <coughs> it chokes me oh, a little oh, bit. Oh. Okay. On this list On that of list. top ten people, yes, sir. we've got the 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 14, and 2015, 2015 winners. That's not good. So that's what, one, two, three, four, five years in a row, guys. Five years in a row. Five Gotta do something to shape it up a little bit. Your last five years and they're on a list of worst winners? Let's shake it up a little bit. Change it up that's a little bit. not good. Bit. Now, there's ten ways. Now, see, you know, we talk about, you know, we didn't. This was the bad stuff about Royal Rumble. Right now, we're going to give you some some uh, things that they posted online. Ten ways to save WrestleMania 31 after the Royal Rumble disaster. Yes. Ten. Have Roman Reigns eat some humble pie. Did you see that he posted on oh, uh, on the internet? Please tell said, me not about the rich thing. Yes, he's like, I don't care if they boo me. I'm just a man getting rich. That all yeah. make makes you a heel. That doesn't help you when people hate you already. I'm just getting rich. I'm providing for my family. And I'm all for people providing for the family, please. I wish I was making some of that money. And You'll still for my get your job. You're not going to be fired if you're not main event WrestleMania. Thank you. But yes, he does Daniel need Daniel Bryan's he getting needs, rich, and he's not the main event. He needs to eat some humble pie. He does. He needs to be beat a little like, bit. He doesn't need to go in as strong as they're trying to make him out to be. Right. Make, him, make him look like he's coming from underneath. Because right now it's like, bro. I know you're a beast, but I'm still going to beat you. Yes. It's like, come on Be now. Believe that. Believe that. Believe in the shield. That's all he did. He took the, he took the line yeah, from there. That is it. 
Number nine. Uh, remove predictable storylines from WWE programming. Of Here, course. Here's something. That'll never happen. Nope. It sure won't. Without the writers they have now, it won't happen. Number eight. Go back and watch 2002. I was just telling him. Go back and watch 2002 for uh, WWE. Go back and watch the pay-per-views because they don't have all the Raws and SmackDowns for 2002. Not yet. But the pay-per-views are phenomenal. I honestly believe 2002 was one of their best years. It was after the invasion ended and it was when they brought back some of the big names like the Goldbergs and like the um, um, NWO. NWO and like the Eric Bischoff and Ric Flair and things got great in the oh, WWE. Yeah. That's 2002. They, they need to look at that. Would you have right ever on. guessed after what happened with WCW and WWE that Eric Bischoff would have stepped foot in, in a ring? Anywhere in a WWE arena, and there he was. Oh, again, Vince McMahon! There's one thing they can't use from t uh, 2002, though. It's HLA. Cannot no, use can. hot lesbian action. Can't, can't do that anymore. But that was a funny storyline with Rikishi. Okay, number eight. Number eight. Keep pushing Bray Wyatt. Oh, they're going to. The this is going to be the Undertaker. I would like it, because I, I think we're we'll getting Steam Taker at, 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 in Cal uh, California, in Texas. Now, number seven, I hope that happens, and I hope they bring them back as a tag team, and I hope we have them versus either the Ascension or them in a some kind of tag team title match. It would be good having a tag team turmoil match at WrestleMania. Well, number one, you need to bring them back because you just lost two teams already. You know we're, know we're losing. Number seven, bring back Devon Dudley. Yeah. Devon Dudley. Yes. Not Reverend Devon. No. And Bautista. No. Number six, introduce the cream of NXT's crop. Oh, don't, yes. don't come too fast, though. Don't let them come in too fast. Because if, if, if you have too many of them, they're getting lost in the show. I will be. Like I was telling Jeremiah the Bullfrog today. Jeremiah the Bullfrog. Don't have a clear winner at NXT takeover between Zane, Sami Zayn, and Kevin Owens. Of course not. not Let's have time. a rematch in the pre-show WrestleMania. Boom! There it is. For the title. There it is. That was you, right? Number six. Number five. Yes. Call no, that on... was you. You were introduction because I was. Oh, I wrong. did do that. Number, number five. five. Call on big names to return. They do that every year. We'll they get do some. That every, yeah. Sting is going to be That's there. That's right. Uh, number four, Cesaro. Give the fans what they want. I do like the tag team right now. I like the little group yes. with the brass ring thing. You know what? If that's the way to get him over, then get him over that way. I honestly believe with all the Cesaro section signs and, and all the swing stuff and everything, he was already yes. over, it and was. they dropped it's it Vince. down. They're, yes. Phew, Stupid. Number three, keep Russo's momentum going. Yes. They're going to. And then John Cena's going to beat him at WrestleMania. Number two, allow Seth Rollins to do more Seth Rollins things. Oh, yeah. Like that great right, uh, off the top rope thing he did to Brock Lesnar, what did Brock or Cena? The little Phoenix splash thing he did. Oh, yeah. That also, dropping, sweet. Then dropping the elbow. Dropping that elbow. elbow. I mean, Seth can do it. Let him do it. Sean's not there to drop elbows off the top anymore. Shane McMahon's not there to drop elbows off anymore. So let, let Seth Rollins. The future. The future. Don't and number, sell out. Bye-bye. And man. number one, sort out the Daniel Bryan debacle. Could and I believe be, they're going to do that. Could that be, this is already going to be up by the time this happens, but could that be what Triple H is talking about with the controversy of announcement? I don't know. What I is. can't tell, because what is the co controversy was Rusev hanging out on the floor. Really, or, or Curtis there. Axel not showing up, not making it all. You know what they're going to do. If it's Curtis Axel, they're going to say, Curtis Axel, you're going to get your chance. You versus Roman Reigns tonight on Raw, the winner takes on Brock Lesnar. Man, he's going to destroy Curtis Axel. <laughs> he is going to destroy Curtis Axel. He is. What a way to bring up another character and boom! And squishy and fist. Because Curtis Axel is that's buddies. Not, that's not eating humble pie. Not humble pie at all. Because mm -hmm. Curtis Axel is buddies with Brock Lesnar anyway because... Mr. Perfect was good buddies with yeah. Brock Lesnar. But you know Curtis Axel's not going to be in the main event. No. I get that. That's fine. Give him something. Don't squash him. No, don't squash him. Well, well that's it, folks, up. for Countdowns this week. It's countdowns. All about the Rumble and WrestleMania coming up and the tag teams. Yes. That you forgot. Tag teams that I forgot. I didn't forget them either. No, I didn't forget them either. I didn't know. And next, in part four, superstars who would have been perfect for the Attitude Era. We're going to talk about Adam Rose and Adrian Neville. Two A's. That's true. Not Aaron Neville, not the black singer. Plus, we'll give you another February, reason February. why. Plus, we'll give you another reason why. Do you have an off season? That's true. I'll be right back for part four right here on Top Row Reality on the YouTube for episode YouTube. 45, our big uh, old school reality. See you in a few. Or just click over right now. Yes, you'll see go us. right there. You'll see us in a few seconds. Boom. There it is. Boom. Boom. Your computer shouldn't go boom. I mean, if your computer goes boom, if you're you're your computer goes boom, you ain't watching us no more right now anyway. Nothing. Oh my no, gosh. No naked woman.
No yeah. cat. Which videos. I don't I don't push that into a cat.